Hey everyone, the draft is finished. For the first round anyways. So let's discuss first round. Ah, Baker Mayfield, number one by the Browns. Why? You had Saquon Barkley right there. You have Tyrod Taylor. You have Tyrod Taylor. You could have waited to grab a a quarterback with your fourth round pick or fourth pick in the first round. Why did you pick Baker Mayfield? You could have had Saquon Barkley. But since they didn't pick Saquon Barkley, number two, New York Giants, got him. Holy hell. That's going to help him a lot, which should help Eli Manning a lot as well because now he has the run game they were leaning on. Like, hey, am I going to pass it or am I going to hand it off? You don't know. Because we have a running back to hand the ball off to now. It's been a while since they had one of those. Uh, speaking of New York, New York Jets picked a quarterback. Yeah, they got Teddy Bridgewater, but who knows how he's going to play. Which is like, man, as a Vikings fan, I wanted to keep him. Go Vikings. But you don't know how he's going to play after that gruesome injury. And the money that he wanted, there wasn't any point in paying him that kind of money. He wanted starter money. And don't get me wrong, he probably deserves starter money. But what if you pay him starter money and then he's a bust because he can't come back from that injury? Nyeh. But I can also see why the Jets would grab a quarterback because if Teddy Bridgewater doesn't pan out, well, you got this guy. Hopefully, though, Teddy Bridgewater will be there for a couple years be like, okay, Teddy Bridgewater actually is pretty good. Hang on to him, develop Sam Darnold, either keep him or when his contract runs out, trade him and get something in return. Uh, next, back to the Browns. Cornerback. Denzel Ward. I mean, obviously they need defense. All teams need defense, so that's a pretty good pick, but you you should have gone Scorn Barkley, then fourth pick, grab a quarterback. I mean, seriously. What were you thinking? So far I'm giving them right, I'm not gonna give them an F, obviously, because the cornerback is good and the I mean, yeah, they grabbed a the quarterback, they probably would like but then again, oh they're at a quarter well no, they traded that one away and cut the other one. Oh, crap, what if they didn't have any quarterbacks left? That would be like Brown's going to do is cut all your young guys who could be good in the long run if they actually had a team to play around. Yeah. Anyways, but so yeah, so far I'm giving them the Browns. I'll give them a C plus, B minus. Next, Bradley Chubb, defensive end, Denver Broncos at number five. Hmm. Let's see. The Broncos got Case Keenum, and they have a couple of the guests with quarterbacks, so it makes sense they didn't grab one, thankfully. I don't know about their wide receiver. Eh. Obviously, you need defense on any team, but grabbing this guy this early, but then he probably wouldn't have been around in the second round. So, yeah, I guess I'll go with Yeah, this is a good pick. Although, you have Case Keenum, and you have no one for him to throw to, depending on injury, trading, free agency. Yeah, but also it's John Elway. John Elway knows what he's doing, so yeah, I'll trust him on this pick. We'll say number five is a good at number five. Bradley Chubb's a good pick. Next, Indianapolis Colts. They got a guard. Obviously, need to protect the quarterback, but who's their quarterback? Andrew Luck still has to come back from his injury, and Jacoby Brissett wasn't very good. Now, was he not very good because he was thrown into a new system? Didn't have anyone around him. Didn't have a guard to protect him. Or was he not good because he just wasn't good? We'll have to wait and see on that. But especially if Andrew Luck can't come back from his injury ever. Man, that would so suck because he was doing very well. He was doing great. <sighs> Terrible. Oh, the, the freaking Bills. Number seven. They traded up to grab Josh Allen, quarterback. Which... I mean, they could have drafted up a little bit higher, or traded up a little bit higher, but they probably did give up more. So hopefully Josh Allen was the guy they were going for. If he's not the guy they were going for, maybe they're like, oh shit, oh shit, everyone's gone. Trade up! But they need a quarterback. They got rid of Tyra Taylor, and he was their best option at the time. So hopefully he'll be able to do something for them, but what else do they have? I mean, their defense has been in shambles. Their offense... Has sparks and flash here and there, and then it just falls apart. 
terrible. Poor Bills. Finally, you you got to the playoffs finally for the first time in the 21st century, and then you get rid of your quarterback. Dumbasses. Anyways. Number eight, Raquan Smith, linebacker, Chicago Bears. Obviously, the Bears. They're known for their defense. They got the quarterback last year, so they were able to focus on elsewhere. Can you imagine if they whiffed on the quarterback again? It's like, all right, we got to draft the quarterback. Who knows? They may have traded up to fifth to make sure they got the Josh Allen. Who knows? Uh, so, yeah, linebacker. Good young talent, hopefully. Yeah, except I don't want the Bears to do well because they're in the same division as me. But good for the Bears being able to focus elsewhere besides quarterback, unlike a lot of teams. Oh, speaking on a team that can focus on elsewhere, Mike McGlinchey, tackle, San Francisco 49ers. Hey, you got this guy now. Hopefully it helps the team out, but... <sighs> that much money on one player. Like, don't get me wrong. You won, like, what, one game without him, and then you went undefeated with him? So don't get me wrong. Jimmy G is a great quarterback. Why do you think Bill Belichick is pissed that they got rid of him? But, man, that's a lot of money to put in one player. But hopefully this tackle guy works out. It should. I mean, the 49ers, yeah, they have misses here and there. Mostly, but that's mostly coaching and quarterback. Going, hmm, do we keep Alex Smith, who wins, or do we keep Colin Kaepernick, who can't complete a pass on the field because his eyes are too close together? We're going to go with our shiny toy, and he's no longer plays in the league. What's that? Alex Smith has been to the playoffs every single year with a team that went 2-14 and before he got there? Yeah, we didn't make the wrong decision here, did we? And of course, wow, this coach goes to the playoffs every year. Wow, this coach is amazing. Let's piss him off and replace him. Oh, we suck now. <laughs> Number 10, quarterback, Josh Rosen, Arizona Cardinals. This is the guy they were going for. Maybe, but... Although he's, he's, God, if you see some of his stuff he says in like interviews and all that, he's a bit cocky. But maybe he has a right to be cocky. He's always on like, no, the number one guy picked out of me. Where is he? That's right. He's nowhere. I'm going to the draft. Oh, number guy, number one guy in high school that played ahead of me. Where is he now? Oh, he's, he can't even stay in college. No college wants him. Me? I'm going to the draft. But again, like a... Uh, Muhammad Ali said, it's not bragging if you can back it up. Maybe this kid can back it up. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, number 11, Minka Fitzpatrick, safety, Miami Dolphins. They're still going to suck. Who's our best running back? Trade him. Who's the best wide receiver? Trade him. Who's the best defensive player? Trade him. No one wants to pay that kind of money? Cut him. So, I know okay, they got rid of running back, they got rid of wide receiver, and they got rid of defensive line. So they use a pick on a safety. <sighs> I mean, yeah, he's got free safety in a league where obviously you need defense, but if you have no offense, your defense can keep the other team to one touch on a game. If you get a field goal a game, you still lose. God, Dolphins are going to finish worse. I'm still calling it right now. Dolphins finish with a worse record than the Browns. I'm calling it now. Number 12. Oh, sticking with Florida, B to V, defensive tackle, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They still got their quarterback. Their run game's been a bit beat up. Wide receiver game's been a bit beat up. So maybe they should have gone something. But then again, defense is so important in the NFL. Even with the NFL changing the rules all the time to make it more offensive oriented, that just means you have to get even better defense because it's like, all right, well, in the old days, a quarterback could only do this. Now they can do that. We need extra help on defense. So eh, I guess I'll... Oh. If I remember this guy during combine, he did okay, but... Mm. Defensive tackle, yeah. I mean, if it was... if the Dolphins had picked him up to try to replace uh, Sue, it might make sense, but... All right, well, we'll go with that for now. Obviously, whoever does this gets paid millions of dollars to do it. Then again, who got paid millions of dollars to do it for the Browns for all these decades and has sucked at it? <laughs> Deron Payne, defensive tackle, Washington Redskins. They got their quarterback. They lost a bit at wide receiver, but they picked up here and there in free agency. 
Uh, but he's from Al- this kid's from Alabama, and Alabama's been a premier school for all these years. Hey, when you pay your players that kind of money, you get the good players. I'm sorry, we don't pay our players. Here's a trophy for participating in practice. Here's a list of shops you can trade it at. Don't trade it for cash, though, because that's illegal. <laughs> that's what uh, Ohio State got in trouble for, where they gave trophies for everything, and then gave them a list. Here's where you can trade those trophies in. Oh, you want a tattoo? Here's those little tattoo shops. We'll take that trophy for a tattoo. Oh, you... You want a car? Here's a list of places that will give you a good discount on a car if you give them that trophy. Uh, because they weren't paying them. They were just giving them trophies. And then a list of places they trade those trophies in at. <laughs> Number 14, Marcus Davenport, defensive end. This is definitely a team that needs defense. Their offense is set. Now that they got Drew Brees locked up, they have the run game. They have the passer, passing game. They got all that. They are set. So defense, defense, defense. Last year they spent five picks on defensive players. So no surprise they spent even more picks here. Later on in the third or fourth round they'll probably spend some offense picks. But good pickup for them. Next, 15. Colton Miller. Tackle, Oakland Raiders. Yeah, they could probably use the help. Derek Carr stays healthy. They do great. He doesn't stay healthy. They don't do great. So having an offensive tackle to help protect him, good pick. Good job, guys. 16. Oh, Buffalo Bills again. Tremaine Edmonds, linebacker. Focusing on the defense. But you don't have you don't have any offense. You need running backs, you need wide receivers, you need line like you but uh, then again, doesn't really matter. They're in the same division as the Patriots. The Patriots win anyway, so because it doesn't really matter who they pick. Terrible. Number 17, Derwin James. Safety, Los Angeles Chargers. Mm. I can't remember what school this kid's from. Man. Yeah, it's the Chargers. But then again, Chargers have had their quarterback for how many years and done nothing with him? Sorry, Philip Rivers. And Philip Rivers has had Hall of Fame running backs behind him. Well, Daniel Thompson, anyone? And still did nothing. So I guess it doesn't really matter if they... Eh, they got a running back the last year or the year before, but he didn't really do much. Uh, probably should have focused on the offensive line. But then again, you have a lot of offense going on, like Derek Carr in that division. So I guess you could... Yeah, I guess you could focus on defense to try to help there to stop the other team's quarterbacks from kicking your ass. Speaking of quarterbacks kicking ass, Green Bay Packers. They got their quarterback, obviously, unless he's hurt. So they went with Jer Alexander's cornerback. Fuck you guys. You guys need to suck at defense. He's easily a top three cornerback, and others were already picked, so he's probably the best of the ones who are left. And I think he does punt returns. Although, I don't think Green Bay's are that big on punt returns. They're not like... uh. The Bears, who are that Hester, Devin Hester, who just don't kick the ball to Hester. You kick the ball to Hester, and he runs it back for a touchdown every single fucking time. Until they changed the rules completely and just got rid of the punt and kick return. Dicks. Next, 19, Leighton Vander Esch, linebacker, Dallas Cowboys. Probably should have gone for a wide receiver since you just lost your biggest target. Uh, from what I understand, this guy was, like, he was a big beefy dude like heavier bigger whatever than the rest of the linebacker class so he should be a good pick for the defense it's just you don't have a wide although you can go as grab wide receiver in the second round true i guess to say that for a lot of these guys actually i haven't seen a wide receiver or yeah i haven't seen a wide receiver get picked yet huh number 20 frank ragnow center detroit lions uh I thought they already had a good center, though. Unless he, oh, did he quit or free agency or whatever? I said that O line is usually not the issue. At least the past couple years hasn't really been the issue. It's been their run game. But then again, oh, they picked up someone in free agency, didn't they? So I guess that, I guess that's a good pick. Help the O line a bit. Help your running game out. Billy Price, center, twenty one for the Cincinnati Bungles. You might want to find someone to help out AJ Green. When you had Muhammad Sanu and, uh, who was the fuck another guy? Muhammad Sanu and, 
We had AJ Green, Mahomes Sanu, and whoever the third guy was. We had this trio of wide receivers. You could have just put five guys on AJ Green because he's going to be the only one open to get the ball. You you had to spread them out. It's like that guy can't catch. That guy can't catch. Just put all five guys on AJ Green once Mahomes Sanu and the other guy left. But when you have Mahomes Sanu and the other guy, it's like, well, we we can't just do that. We had to protect everyone because any of these guys could catch the ball. But I guess we'll help protect Andy Dalton or, oh, who's his backup? Everyone's always calling for the backup, but then again, it doesn't really matter for a lot of teams. And how you get like Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady, yeah, they can miss a pass too and not get people chanting for the backup. But other teams, Alex Smith, well, he just threw six touchdowns and zero interceptions, eight games in a row. Oh, no, this ninth game, he just threw his first incomplete pass. They're calling for the backup. And then they trade him to the Redskins. Dumbasses. Anyways. 22. Rashawn Evans. Linebacker. Tennessee Titans. He was Alabama, I think. So, obviously, grabbing anyone from Alabama. Alabama, Ohio State, uh, Clemson, USC. Like, those schools usually produce really good players. No matter what the position is. So, it's always good to try to pick out guys from there. Uh... Number 23, Isaiah Wynn, tackle, New England. Why are they picking so early? Did they trade up? Or did they get it from another trade earlier? Anyways. And got to protect Tom Brady. The more you protect him, the longer he lasts. The more touchdowns you can score, the more Super Bowls you can go to. So, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Number 24, DJ Moore, who are the first wide receiver pick to the Carolina Panthers. Ooh, can't remember where he's from. But uh, what was his? He had a four point. Yeah, I can't remember his time, but yeah, he was a pretty fast guy. No surprise he gets picked this early. Maybe you could have gotten Calvin Ridley earlier, or maybe if it switched out DJ Moore for Calvin Ridley. But good pick for the Panthers. You got to help out Cam Newton if he has one to throw to. It doesn't really matter how good your quarterback is. Next twenty five. Hayden Hurst, the first tight end, picked to the Baltimore Ravens. Screw the Ravens. Anyways. Uh, yeah, they... Ooh, who they get for wide receiver? One second, let me look that up. Uh, Ravens wide receiver. Because I'm pretty sure they picked up someone during free ages that was supposed to be really good. Yeah, Michael Crabtree. Alright, yeah, Michael Crabtree. So, yeah, I guess going for a tight end would also help the passing game. And he might be good at blocking, which, obviously, having a tight end who can block as well as catch is always critical. 26, Calvin, oh, Calvin Ridley, wide receiver, Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, I should help Julio Hones out. Don't they also have Mahomes Sanu, or did he leave already? And, but, again, having, a thir- having three wide receivers out there who can catch the ball like that definitely take the pressure off Julio Hones. And make it great for the quarterback. Next, 27, Rashad Penny, running back with a second one picked. Seattle Seahawks. Uh, who do they have for a running back? No one? Yeah, good pick. Although, they didn't they lose their Legion of Boom to, to injury and free agency and all that? Pretty sure they did. So, they may have wanted, well, then again, at this point, who's left for defense that could have replaced them. That would have been worthwhile picking in this round instead of later. 28, Terrell Edmonds, safety, Pittsburgh Steelers. And... Ah, oh, Steelers has always been known for their defense. But they just traded away Martavius. They traded away Martavius Bryant. Like, what? Martavius Bryant is a good wide receiver. Uh, oh, well. Hopefully, they have something planned to replace him because he was a key part of their team last year. 29, Taven, 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 whatever. Brian, defensive tackle, Jaguars. Didn't he only play for one year, though? I don't know, that's kind of risky be picking a guy who's only played one year this high. Probably would have dropped off to the second or third round at least. And your quarterback sucks, even though you just gave him a huge fucking money, even though his best year is worse than 
Alex Smith's worst year, but eh, maybe they know what they're doing. They should have pushed for Eli Manning. <laughs> Get him teamed back up with Tom Coughlin. Anyways, 30 Vikings. My cues, cornerback. We got Trey Waynes out there, Xavier Rhodes, but you always need to help on defense, especially when you have to face against Aaron Rodgers, Matthew Stafford. And God, those guys, those guys are just throwing every down kind of quarterbacks. Fuck you guys, and the Bears are getting there with their quarterback. So yeah, definitely. But as as long as Devin Cook come back come back healthy, we have a wide receiver core. We got our quarterback in Kirk Cousins, hopefully. And last year we had the most expensive O line, along with the second most expensive O line. So yeah, definitely good pick at cornerback. Next, thirty one, Sonny Mitchell. Running back, New England Patriots. Uh, yeah, they definitely need run game help. They never, although they never keep a running back longer than what a year. And then they get rid of him. Then they like, oh, that team cut him, pick him back up for a really cheap deal. All right, cut him at the end of the year. Two years later, pick the same guy back up. But then again, they running has never really been their focus. It's always been passing with their and Tom Brady and all that, but. You get the run game going, it might take pressure off him, take pressure off the wide receivers, take pressure off of Gronkowski so he can stay healthy longer. So yeah, good pick for them. And then the Baltimore Ravens traded up to grab Lamar Jackson. He's a bit raw, and he's known more for running than for throwing, but who knows, maybe they're going to finally try to move away from Flacco after they gave him way too much money. They gave him so much money that killed the rest of the team. It's like, wow, this guy's great. We have no money to pay you. Bye-bye, go to free agency. Wow, this guy's great. We have no money. Bye-bye, goodbye to free agency. This guy, and same thing. Uh, so maybe if Lamar Jackson, maybe throw him out there a game or two. Like, all right, we're playing the Browns. We're up by three touchdowns. Throw Lamar Jackson out there, Harry does. Dig that going. It's like, oh, he's actually pretty fucking good. Hey, Joey Flacco. We're cutting a goodbye. Wow, we have $80 million to spend next year. We can actually do something in free agency. Yay! Ah, so overall, Baltimore Ravens, if you're going for replacing Joey Flacco, A+. Patriots, you got a couple good picks. Okay, we'll say A. Vikings, A. Jacksonville. I can't fault you for the quarterback situation, so... But then again, grabbing a guy who's only played for one year in college, we'll say B. Steelers, definitely need help on safety, defense, and all that. But, man, just trade away my Tavis Bryant morons. Anyways, we'll go B. Running back for the Seahawks, definitely need help there. But their defense is also probably hurting after all the injuries and free agency. So we'll say B. Falcons, A. Panthers, we'll go with B. Titans, definitely need help at defense, especially when you're facing off against the Texans. And if Andrew Luck ever comes back to Colts, so good pick, we'll say B+. Bungles, we'll say C+. Lions need help with the... Well, then they picked the guy up, but who knows. But what's your wrong game without a good O-line, right? So we'll say B- for the Lions. Cowboys will say C because you picked a linebacker when you need wide receiver help. Your quarterback doesn't matter if he can't throw the ball to anyone. Packers, screw you. We'll say F minus. Okay, we'll say B. Because again, especially. Now you have three teams to face against. Well, now all the teams in NFC North are all going to be throwing the ball a lot. So definitely need help on defense. So we'll say B plus for them. Dicks. Ah, Chargers. Doesn't really matter who you pick. You're not doing anything. You're not going anywhere. You've had an amazing quarterback who on a, half the other. He goes to one of the other teams. He'd have a super boring, at least one. But with the Chargers, does nothing. So we'll say B, just because defense always helps. But still, the Chargers still gonna suck. Uh, the Bills, and you also got that quarterback. So linebacker, yeah. Right, we'll give you a B plus. Of course, it's hard to miss during the first round of the draft. That's when you get to like the fifth round and you start drafting punters. Like, that's way too early. That's a D minus right there. Uh, but Raiders, tackle. You got to protect Derek Carr. Derek Carr stays healthy. You're going to win. 
So we'll say A minus. Defensive end for the Saints. Again, they spent five picks last year on defense. They're offensive. Everything's good there. So we'll say A. Redskins, you got your quarterback. Maybe should have looked at wide receiver or running back, but so we'll give you a B. Bucks. Uh, your offense might need some help, so we'll say your defensive tackle will be a B. Dolphins, F. All right, maybe not F, but we'll say C because you have no defensive line. You have no wide receiver. You have no running back, and you go with a safety. When you had the next pick being a defensive tackle, like maybe you should have grabbed him. Colonels, we'll say A because they need a... Oh, who did they just grab? They grabbed Sam Bradford. The guy's going to be hurt, so you better hope Josh Rosen is ready to play as soon as possible because you're going to need him. Mike McGlinsey for the tackle San Francisco 49ers. We'll say A. Can't fault him for spending way too much money on a quarterback who, although, he's undefeated. He's undefeated. He's been in the league for how many years and he's undefeated? Although he's only started like seven games, but he's won all seven. So, hey, if he had been with the Patriots during the Super Bowl, who knows? He may have won. <laughs> Anyways, Bears, they like their defense. They got their offense pretty much set. So we'll say linebackers an A. Bills, yeah, they need a quarterback since they traded with Tyler Taylor and the guy they get. Darren Fran is like, they Bills have been making a lot of moves that make you go, huh? But it might work out. So we'll say quarterback here. We'll say B+. Plus. Quentin Nelson for the Colts. Guard. You gotta protect Andrew Luck or whoever your quarterback is. You could have a great running back. If the defense is in the backfield before you hand the ball off to the running back, it doesn't matter how great he is. So yeah, you definitely need to protect the quarterback and the running back and keep that O line strong. So we'll give them a nay. Denver Broncos defensive end. Yeah, they have a lot of issues, but I'll trust John Elway on this to say B. The Browns. Stupid. All right, the cornerback might be a good pick, but they could have they could have grabbed Squan Barkley the first pick, grabbed Baker Mayfield or Sam Darnold or another quarter whatever quarterback left that they wanted at four. Now, if they really wanted this cornerback, they could have traded up. They have so many draft picks, they could have traded up for him. Uh, so, but we'll go. And again, the guy's been making a lot of moves, a lot of good moves. So we'll. I'll try to trust his word on this and say B. Jets, number three, Sam Darnold, quarterback. Yeah, because you can't... You don't know where you're going to have Teddy Bridgewater, so we'll say this is an A-plus pick. Number two, A-plus-plus, plus, probably the best pick in the draft. Saquon Barkley, running back for the Giants, A-plus-plus-plus. Plus, plus. All the A-pluses, great pick for them. God, of course, tomorrow you got more draft, but I'll be at work during it. So I have to wait for that. I'll have to wait for that. Although I can try to follow something on my phone. Try to anyways. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you think some of these draft picks were just way too early? Or do you think the Browns missed picked here like I do? Or do you think they picked right? Do you think picking the with the first pick overall running back is a risky move? Because a lot of people have been saying that's a risky move. But then again, the Giants picked him with their first pick. And he's... He's just a great player from all the footage that you see, from the games that he's played, from the combine. Like, he has talent. Ah. And where did your team pick? Do you like their pick? Do you think they should have picked someone else? Trade it up? Trade it down, maybe? What do you guys say? Like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.